Welcome back, crafty friends. And isn't it amazing? We are in April. How fast is this year going? But anyway, I'm glad you're all here. And I am working with my very first project for the April Evil Enabler Kit for Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. And it's very Easter themed and gardening themed. And my very first layout for this kit is going to be a Easter themed one. I had these lovely photos of my son. And I had previously scrapped them, but I just fell in love with this paper and I thought, yes, this is going to make a better layout than the one I had made before. So I started off as I normally start off. It's by pick my photos first. And I wanted to scrap this photo of my son. He had been at daycare and they'd made these lovely bunny ears and he was so proud of himself. He didn't want to take these ears off and he actually asked for a photo to be taken. That's how proud he was of his little bunny ears. So of course I didn't say no, did I? <laughs> but anyway, um, the hardest thing about this layout was once I had my photos was choosing the paper. I go backwards and forwards with the all the papers in the, in the core products and I picked this lovely gorgeous yellow bow bunny one mainly because I love that bunny, but I thought it went well with the banner around his head because that was yellow. And this paper here is going to be my background paper. Now, the, what I'm doing now is something I've seen done a number of times by other scrapbookers. It's where they sort of cut the paper on the diagonal. And I always kept saying, I'm going to try that, I'm going to try that. And this is the time where I finally try it because I looked at this photo and I sort of wanted to... I wanted to frame the two photos somehow and I just thought that well I just seen I think it was Caitlin, Caitlin Cleary do it on one of her layouts and I went you know what I'm going to do it on this layout because it was fresh in my mind but lots of people do it and I just thought I would finally take the inspiration and do it myself and I love the outcome so I'm just cutting out the bunny so I don't forget him. He will end up being one of my embellishments down the track. So I'm just putting him to the side. And I am going to confess that I went through my stash of washi tape looking for an olivey green colour that would offset perfectly against this lovely yellow. And I had nothing. I am going to have to go to Auntie Vera's shop and check out to see if she's got any olive green washi tape. I never want to be in this predicament again. So I had to go back to the papers in the core, in the core products and unfortunately I did feel guilty about it but I did cut out two strips about one and a half inches. Uh, each strips about one and a half inches and I landed up putting them on as you can see down the bottom of the other yellow paper and it just framed everything perfectly. It sort of brought everything together and made all the papers stand out in their own right. Love it. So even though I didn't have the olive green washi tape I wanted, the paper really sufficed. I just felt guilty cutting into a whole 12 by 12 strip of paper, or piece of paper I should say. Anyway, I'm doing my, you know, my normal, I think it's not my signature, but I think that's something that I do do a lot. I'm matching my photos using my perfect uh, layers ruler and I'm just using some plain white cardstock. I did try using pink or blue and that but in the end I chose plain white as there was already so much colour happening in the layout. Usually when I use different coloured papers, even though they're from the same collection, I sometimes like to pick one colour and I like to ink all the edges in that colour. I just think or for me personally, it adds a bit of uniformity and makes it, it just pulls everything in together. It's a personal choice. Not everyone does it, but I like doing it. So that's what you saw me doing. I loved the olive green of the other paper. And so I chose that to be the color that I use. And I'm using the archival ink and the color is leaf green. So I just ended up inking all my, the edges of all my papers before I stuck them down. Or in this case, I was about to stick it down and then realised I hadn't inked my paper. So that, that's where I go now and I think, oh, it's too white. So I'm just inking all the edges so I don't get that. I have an issue with those white edges. So that's why I think I, I ink everything so that they all have the nice same edge. I don't know, psychological. It's just what I like doing and 
I just think it's a small finishing touch and I really like the look of it. So just putting this layout together as I knew at this stage that this is exactly how it was going to be. So I'm just going to ink my papers and stick them down using the ATG gun. So there's my gorgeous bunny. He's all fussy cut out and I love it. I'm just going to leave it there for a while as I think about where his permanent home's going to be and he more or less stays there. And I'm thinking now title and as I was thinking title I looked up and I had I saw the lovely stamp set from the core products and I loved this one. This stamp set is from Neat and Tangled and it's called Ooh, what's it called? Let me tell you what it's called. It says Extra Special Stamp Set. Absolutely gorgeous. So my title lands up being You Are Extra Special to Me and I just love the play on words there. So as you can see, I've pulled out my iconic stamping tool from the, the Tim Holtz Ranger, whatever it all is called. And... I used the Leaf Green Archival Ink to ink it all up because I thought black was going to be just a little bit too harsh and I just wanted to tie in all with that Leaf Green olive look that I had going and I love it. Now originally I thought I was going to use it as a square but that somehow looked too sharp in my eyes and so to soften it I just roughly fussy cut around it and then just ink the edges with that Leaf Green ink again. Now this is where I decide I'm going to be using some of the stickers from the sticker sheet but because I tend to change my mind a lot I land up getting in this, what is it, it's like a journaling card and I just stuck it on some scrap white card stock so that way I could move, a, move it around and before I finally decided on its final placement. I'm just quickly do is doing some journaling and I like to do it in my own handwriting as much as I hate my own handwriting because of the fact that I think it adds that little bit of a personal touch. And I just wrote about how he came home all excited about the bunny ears and how proud he was of the bunny ears. So in years to come, when I've forgotten, you know, about why I took photos of these bunny ears, he'll then you know, have the story that goes with them and he'll sort of realise, oh yes, he was really excited about his little artwork. So those gorgeous Easter eggs down the bottom there, they are part of that sticker sheet and I did stick them down there and then I'm just putting everything together. So this was one of those layouts that I didn't really think too much about. It just sort of just came together and I didn't pre-plan it. It sort of just you know, having all the products there in front of me really helped. I could play around and mix things around. So my little bunny embellishment, all I did was I added some foam that I get from the local junk store and I cut it into a strip so that he had a bit of height. And there he goes down and I've decided I'm going to move the title to the bottom, to the bottom instead of being at the top. And I think that just looks better. Inking all my edges because, of course, that's what I do. And I thought since all the other papers were inked, I had to um, frame my uh, 12 by 12 inch papers all as well. So, you know, personal touch like I said before. And this is where I'm um, also with the stamp set. It's got this lovely little strip of a stamp and it says, you're a good egg. And I just thought I wanted to add it to that photo, that, that small photo on the side and I'm going to use my Tim Holtz stamping tool again and this is what I love about the Tim Holtz stamping tool as opposed to the Misty. You can stick your, you can use your 12 by 12 paper. Look at that, I've just used my 12 by 12 paper. I'm not squashing it, I'm not anything, it's just sitting there. I can now move it and uh, use it. So yeah. If uh, you are looking to get this lovely stamps tool set, I got mine from uh, Auntie Vera. And so you can pop on along and I'm sure she can help you with that. Because if you're a scrapper and you want to stamp directly onto your layout, they're just fantastic. This is the first time I've actually used it to stamp directly onto a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And it made life so easy. So here we go at the end. And I... I'm really happy with this layout. Um, 
happy that I decided to redo these photos and re-scrap them because they're just gorgeous with this paper from Auntie Vera. So once again, thank you all so much for watching and till next time. Bye!